Leading on from looking at our fretting hand, let's just have a quick look at the major scale. Now, to be kind to us all, let's look at it in the key of C major, okay, so there's no sharps and no flats. Now, when a student comes up and says, I want to learn the bass, this is one of the first things I teach him, okay, because we all re recognise the sound of our major scale. That was C major. Now, when we look at a major scale, I always tell students to finger it in a particular way on their instrument. Now the first way I teach them is exactly like this and it is to lead with the second finger. Okay, The second finger begins on the root of our scale, in this case it's C. Now by placing our second finger on the root of, or the C, okay, my other fingers naturally fall across this four fret area. Okay, It's another one of my golden rules, four fingers, four frets. If you can span that, all the other tones from the major scale should fall neatly under your fingers without needing an awkward finger shift. Okay, so if I was to play the notes, and I'll say them out as I play them, C, which is your root, D, second, your third is E, F is your fourth, G is your fifth, A, which is your sixth, B, which is your seventh, and then C again, the octave. Okay? Now, if I lead with my second finger, you watch how, watch this hand for example. I haven't got to move that at all. And every single other tone from the major scale, any other tonal possibility, I can reach without moving my finger. But I'm anchored, if you look, using this second finger. So all I'm trying to get across to you is whenever you think major, lead with your second finger. Of course, you'll be in situations where that isn't going to be possible. And I always encourage students to learn to play the major scale in different shapes on different areas of the neck. But if you're just beginning, Lead with your second finger and always link that leading of the second finger with a major. If you do that, everything will turn out good.